And come I'm Rocky Jones, one of the producers for Sonata Melodica. <laughs> Yeah, this is Josh just opening the blinds, showing us a kind of a vista of Harlem. Uh, the Manhattan School of Music is a couple blocks away from 125th and Broadway, the actual heart of Harlem, and the Apollo Theater, where so many great African-American performers from Duke Ellington, Charlie Parker, Sarah Vaughan performed at one point. The uh, floor that Josh lived on was known as the Jazz Kids Floor, even though uh, Josh is a classical musician. He got along very well with the Jazz Kids and in fact uh, told us that he performed numerous times with them, or had jam sessions with them. It's very exciting to be surrounded by people who share your passion. One of the things that Josh uh, hipped us to was that uh, at the Manhattan School of Music, the majority of the jazz majors were white, and the majority, or not the majority, but many of the African Americans who are in classical music were there majoring as opera singers. Josh told us during our walkthrough that he was one of the two students taught directly by the uh, then president of the Manhattan School of Music. He told us also, this is Oliver Lukacs, uh, I'm also a producer in the film, that he was, um, that a faculty member had told him that he was one of two African American students in the entire history of the school who was a composition, accepted as a composition major. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, that's what he told us that day. Shakespeare book. One of the things I remembered was that um, he talked about. Um, the contrast of living at home in Potomac, Maryland, as opposed to living at uh, in New York in the dormitory. Over there, I found a collection of Herman Hess fairy tales um, when I was in the village one time. Like, there's so many influences because of the city and because of where we are and because of the school that that have changed me as a young composer. 